Here are three things you need to think about if you want a heat pump for your property. First things first is space. Do you have enough of it and are you prepared to lose it for a heat pump? As everyone's probably seen, heat pumps are very far from being compact and I think it'll be a very long time until they are. I have seen rather compact versions from Alpha as a hybrid system, but being just a heat pump, they are rather big. This table I am currently at would probably just about sit one on, but it was far too big to get in for the video. So outside your house, you need around three meters by two meters area to have the unit sit with a meter in front and a meter either side for it to breathe. You also then need space inside your property for the hot water cylinder. If you have an airing cupboard, this will hopefully fit, but these cylinders are now two meters by one meters wide. So you're talking a modern fridge freezer kind of size with pipes going in and out and all over your house. Annoyingly, it also has to be as close as possible to the heat pump itself. So going really far away upstairs into attics or in garages kind of ruins the efficiency of the system. It also costs a lot more in materials and copper too. Of course, as time goes on, I believe these cylinders will get a lot smaller. I think the heat pumps will get a lot smaller too. So space will not matter in a few years, but as of now, it really does. Luckily, I live in an end terrace property, so I have a lot of space in the back garden and in the side sort of ginnel or alleyway as you call it, for a heat pump to fit. Sadly, not every house is like that, so just give that a bit of consideration before looking into a heat pump. Number two, you need some insulation. This can either be cavity wall, solid wall, loft, floor insulation, double glazing, triple glazing. You need to have a lot of insulation. Of course, if you do an online quote, you will get accepted if you have cavity wall or solid wall or loft insulation or double glazing. Companies just want to get you through the door. But make sure you take a good look at your EPC. If you don't know how to find it, follow this video up here as I explain where to go online to get it. As if you don't have all these boxes ticked off or at least a majority of them, the efficiency of your system will just not be there and it won't save you enough money to warrant having the system in the first place. There are a million videos out there about these heat pumps having 400%, 500% efficiency ratings, which of course completely ruins a boiler. But these are in the most perfect, optimal positions where people have paid for insulation to go inside their home or they've already had a brand new new build that has everything to regulation. If you're like me and your house is over 10, 15 years old, you're probably gonna have a few of these things that need upgrading. Whilst on about upgrading, number three is under renovation. So if your property is getting any work done to it, please take these things into consideration. Number one, you can't get a heat pump installed until the renovation is complete. And I would also consider getting underfloor heating or just upsized large radiators to allow for the increased flow rate. Radiators and underfloor heating go hand in hand and make the perfect partner for a heat pump. If you're already stripping up the floors or you're building a whole new section of your house, you may as well think ahead and add those considerations in. Finally, under renovations, I would go for pipe work. Make sure you have at least 15 mil pipe work going to these new radiators. If you have a single panel radiator that's ancient, you need to get rid of that, get a double panel and have a 15 mil pipe going to it. Of course, you can run a heat pump on smaller pipe work, most commonly maybe 10 mil or eight mil, but these are a lot more complicated systems which can cost a lot more money as there's a lot more planning that goes into to it. For the cost of a few lumps of copper and the labor time, it is definitely worth doing and upgrading the 15 mil. That has been three really quick considerations to make before getting a heat pump or even going down the rabbit hole of looking at them as you can get honestly quite lost. I spent hours on YouTube watching videos back to back and I can never really find a list of things to check to save me that time going online, doing a quote, getting someone out to the property, I just thought I'd make it easy and doable for the customer. So if this video has helped, please do leave a like. Any questions, put them in the comments down below. Make sure you head to iHeat to get a quote for a heat pump or a new boiler today. Also to help with the cost, I will leave a link down below to apply for the boiler grant, which can actually offer you money to get off a heat pump. That is all from me. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. This has been iHeat.